All right, so many of you may already be familiar with blockchain technology. Uh, it's the mechanism in which cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum and Litecoin operate. And uh, many people think that the blockchain technology ends at cryptocurrency, right? That's the end-all be-all of the blockchain. Um, and I'll describe blockchain technology if you're not familiar really briefly, but essentially what you're not being told about blockchain is that it's going to be used for much, much more than just cryptocurrency and financial transactions. And we have elitist uh, futurist types writing about in their white papers, and I'm going to prove that, how blockchain will be used to bring about human level or what some call self-aware artificial intelligence. Um, now, many of you may be thinking, well, we already have artificial intelligence, but it isn't even close to human level or self-aware in reality because big data in companies with companies like Facebook and Google, etc., it doesn't, it's not able to process and compute non-linearly, and it's not able to act on its own behalf with its own agency. It's programmed, and it doesn't learn really if you know what I mean. And um, <clears throat> we have forces on this planet, and I'm going to show you this. In their own white papers, they're talking about this, and, and they really think they can do this, that they want to break that barrier of machine, ma uh, linear machine thinking, artificial intelligence to human level, self-aware machines. Blockchain is the mechanism in which they plan to break that barrier. I'm going to explain how. So this is an infographic dis describing blockchain. For those of you that don't know, right now blockchain is being used for cryptocurrencies like Bit Bitcoin and Ethereum. And Ethereum is, is sort of bridging the gap, um, which I'll explain in a minute, between... Um, blockchain being used for a currency and something much, much more and much, much weirder. So in the blockchain with Bitcoin, we have what we call, and you can see here in this infographic, it depicts what I'm talking about. It's called decentralization. Now with a bank or with uh, credit card companies, you have centralization. So you use your credit card and it all connects to a mainframe of what you have in your credit card account. It, it all, it's all described in the mainframe, the centralized mainframe of your credit card company or your bank. With Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, it's all decentralized. So there isn't one mainframe in which all your transactions or all the transactions within the blockchain are held. It's distributed among a network. So when you make a transaction with Bitcoin, it is stored in the blockchain and the blockchain is distributed. And the only way we can have a consensus on what transaction occurred is agreements, agreements amongst all the distributed network nodes so it's like a consensus based um mainframe that's decentralized so it's and it's not stored in one place so many advocates of bitcoin uh say this protects us uh from fraud from centralized power grabs and corruption and stuff like that which it does blockchain can be used and is being used for many great things um I don't want to bash the blockchain at all. I, I have, you know, cryptocurrencies that I've messed around with and invested in and used at times and stuff like that. Um, this isn't about bashing blockchain or cryptocurrencies. But that being said, I want to briefly describe what they're writing about here in their white papers, what they're what they're planning to do, okay, to understand how AI will sprout out of blockchain you have to think of blockchain and the decentralized nodes in the blockchain as neurons in a human brain uh, that's the initial plan that uh, many of these futurists are 
uh, laying out here. So uh, decentralized nodes that communicate signals with each other and, you know, uh, can essentially learn from each other uh, is how the human brain is able to learn. It is able to reflect off itself and learn from itself um, in many ways. And the truth is, this is already being built on a mass scale. We have um, a company offering an initial coin offering that's an ico uh through the ethereum blockchain called singularity net the decentralized marketplace for artificial intelligence and the founder of singularity net um ben gortzel has talked about how he does intend this eventually to evolve into something that's that's a self-aware self-acting artificially intelligent organism like the human brain literally acting on its own behalf with its own agency and this is out of wired magazine again i'll leave links to all of this i encourage you to research it for yourself and Gertzel is quoted here in wired magazine we want to create a system that learns on its own how to cobble together modules to carry out different functions. You'll see a sort of federation of AIs emerge from the spontaneous interaction among the nodes without human guidance, he explains. It'll have an AI in inside each and every node and between them, and they'll learn how to combine their skills. The expected end game is that these swarms of smart nodes would get as intertwined as clusters of neurons, eventually evolving into human-level AI. Gertzel admits that it might take decades for that to happen, but he is positive that the primary purpose of SingularityNet project is bringing about, quote, beneficial artificial intelligence. That is, human-level AI. And in case you don't know, Ben Gertzel is also the creator of the world's first robot citizen, Sophia. I'm sure many of you have read about this individual, uh, so-called individual, Sophia, who was granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia just a month ago, or a few weeks ago. And interestingly enough, a few weeks after, they had the massive announcement uh, in, you know, Pony Show, granting citizenship to this robot created by Ben Gertzel. Saudi Arabia had a mass swarm of arrests at the very same hotel where they held this conference. And you saw figures like Prince al Oweed bin Talal arrested, who has share, uh, shares in Twitter, etc., etc. Also worth noting, uh, Al Walid bin Talal actually said well, about a month ago that Bitcoin is just going to implode one day, and that essentially it's Enron in the make in the making. So he bashes the blockchain. A month later, you have this <laughs> citizen robot, right? Granted, their citizenship in Saudi Arabia. Created by Ben Gertzel, who's using the blockchain to bring about singularity net and artificial intelligence. And then this guy is arrested at the same conference, the robot. Ben Gertzel's robot is granted citizenship. Or a week after that conference in the same hotel, I should say. Wow. I mean, look. Al Walid Bin Talal is a scumbag. And I'm glad he was arrested, but I just happen to think it had it may have had something to do with him bashing Bitcoin and the blockchain. Um, interesting and intriguing to me that this all happened within a few weeks. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that it's no coincidence that Putin came out and stated that the nation that leads in artificial intelligence will be the ruler of the world. And he said this just uh, a couple months ago. 
Yeah, all this happening within a short time span. And all this happening at around the same time you have here, October of this year. Um, Russia announcing that they're issuing their own cryptocurrency as well, called the Crypto Ruble. Uh, so you see how this is all connecting, how this is all coming together. You know, it's one of the reasons why we're seeing such a huge explosion in interest uh, in blockchain and cryptocurrencies from not only people in general, but institutions and governments. Uh, this is very powerful stuff. Um, and one of the huge agendas with crypto is to create genuine artificial intelligence. Uh, they're telling you, it's coming straight from the horse's mouth. Um, and it's all coming at the same time. This is how it all connects. And before we close out here, I also want to go over a white paper out of Kingston University, London, Blockchain Thinking, The Brain as a Decentralized Autonomous Organism. Uh, I'll leave links to all this, you know, just like everything I'm going over here to prove what I'm saying. And in this white paper, they discuss uh, not only using blockchain to create self-aware artificial intelligence, but also to store quote-unquote mind files in which everything you've ever thought or everything you've ever experienced um, will be stored in the blockchain so that if you ever lost your memory um, somehow, maybe via Alzheimer's or, or a traumatic experience, you could retrieve it with blockchain. Um, they also go on to postulate that this can be used to create digital, autonomous, self-acting versions of yourself on the internet. So basically, you can have 10 versions of yourself acting on behalf of yourself, doing different things all at once, acting autonomously. They also talk about the value of blockchain being used to actually describe something as ex as it's being experienced or to be able to retrieve something as it was legitimately experienced subjectively. So, in other words, they'll be able to determine, determine whether or not uh, you actually experience the color red as everybody else does sort of thing with blockchain. So that's what the mind files aspect of all this is, is all about. And they talk about friendly artificial intelligence with blockchain. I mean, it's a really a lot of interesting stuff. Um, all that being said, I think that pretty much sums it up for now. I'll be uh, covering this topic as more information breaks uh, throughout the next few years, um, few months, etc. I'll be keeping you updated. This is a subject that really interests me, and I think this is the future here. I would encourage people to invest in blockchain um, because even though a lot of it can be used for, like I said, dystopic, creepy, probably not wise endeavors, so much of it can be used for good as well. And it will be. You'll see a lot of both, you know, good and bad. So it is the future. Brand new stuff. Um, the most revolutionary concept since calculus, really, I think, blockchain. Again, I'll leave links. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. And as always, uh, I want to encourage everybody, if you believe in what I do, to contribute on Patreon, PayPal, uh, also via Bitcoin or Ether. I'll leave links to all that in the description box. It's been press. As always, keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.